A little while ago, we made a video about cult games nobody bothered to buy. We got so much awesome feedback on that video that we decided to make a follow-up. So here are 10 more great cult games nobody bothered to buy. Don't matter. All oh, now you use it. Sure, you go on believing that. <laughs> we kick off our list with Bayonetta, the sexiest witch of them all. This action game is one of the best in the genre. The combat is completely over the top, and depending on the difficulty settings, you are in for one hell of a challenge. But with 1.5 million copies sold, game studio Platinum Studios was disappointed. Nonetheless, the game got a sequel because Nintendo decided to pay for it. The Wii U exclusive sold an estimated 1 million copies. He's my favorite robot pal! He sure was okay, but he wasn't 50 feet tall! Pretty cool party, come and see! You can get a robot and come killing with me! <laughs> Bulletstorm has to be one of the most innovative shooters in recent years. This game went over the top in terms of gameplay and dialogue. Help us get an evac off world! Yeah! Go fuck yourself! You shit piles give chase, I will kill your dicks! What? What does that even mean? You're gonna kill my dick? Well, I'll kill your dick! How about that, huh? Combine that with the pretty awesome point system and you have a truly unique game. And even though the game is officially considered a commercial failure, it was praised by critics all over the world. Bulletstorm sure adds color to a genre that lacks innovation. The game is getting remastered next year, so be sure to check it out. <sighs> Need to get some pads for my ass. Old gal wasn't built for that much abuse. I'm not interested in quantifying how much abuse your ass is built for. Get moving. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. You're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Deadly Premonition is one of those games on which everybody has a different opinion. This open-world survivor horror adventure game is one of a kind. It has very basic gameplay mechanics that might annoy you, but the story and characters will surely suck you in nonetheless. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He cleaned the skulls up and used them as utensils in his daily life, to eat from or as a urine cup. Thank you, Agent York. Now, let's talk about something else. This game is absolutely loaded with a quirky kind of charm. With not even half a million copies sold, this is one of the most underappreciated gems of the last generation. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays? You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, is a great game that unfortunately didn't do well on the GameCube. Its unorthodox gameplay was something that was hard to grasp for the mainstream audience. The horror adventure was widely praised and its sanity effects add a whole new layer of psychology horror to the gaming experience. With less than half a million sold, this gem is labelled a commercial failure. And a planned sequel was cancelled. Oh shit! There's more than 14. Oh, those bastards are breeding. 
Many games made by Suda51 have not met their commercial expectations in the West. This can certainly be said of Killer7. Even though the game sold only 250,000 copies in Europe and the USA, it was praised by many reviewers for its story and very unique art style. Thanks to Killer7, other games by Suda51 were brought to the West and he got to create No More Heroes. Killer7 might have limited appeal in its rail shooter gameplay, but it's got style for days. Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning is an action role-playing game that's often described as a mix between God of War and the Elder Scrolls. In one of our older videos, we compared this game with the world of Warcraft because the visuals sure look similar. It's a huge and deep role-playing game with a very interesting combat system. But it was not a commercial success, despite selling 2 million copies. <laughs> Little King's Story is one of the most underappreciated video games on the Nintendo Wii. The game has been remade on the PlayStation Vita and was also released on Steam. It offered a unique mix of strategy, life simulation, and role playing that surprised many gamers. Don't let the cute graphics fool you, because Little King's Story is a deep game that will please many of you hardcore gamers out there. Bags. Lollipop Chainsaw was a light-hearted addition to the third-person action genre, but that didn't make the game any less interesting. The game adds a comedic twist to the zombie killing that we've seen so often in recent years. Running zombies? <laughs> Stupid. The action and camera aren't flawless, but the overall experience Lollipop Chainsaw offers is very entertaining. With just over 1.1 million copies sold, the game is not a huge failure. But it did fail to reach the mass appeal Warner Bros was hoping for. I'm glad I just so happened to wear my zombie fighting underwear today. What? Sensei Murakawa said wearing cotton underwear with little teddy bears or hearts is best for doing battle. He'd make me wear them to every class. I'm so creeped out right now. With less than a million copies sold, the action role-playing game Nier can surely be called a commercial failure. Its critical reception ranges from mediocre to amazing. The game mixes all kinds of gameplay mechanics together, switching from third-person action to two-dimensional platforming and even a top-down shoot-'em-up. But if you finish Nier and play the game a second time, it will reveal new story elements. Nier is one of those games that just gets better the more you play it. How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! I'd rather go all out than bother with defense. Time to hit hard and make him regret it. There's a lot to like about Vanquish. In this fast-paced action game, you slide on your knees while shooting guns in slow motion. The sheer amount of action on screen is amazing at times and makes this title definitely worth playing. The story's a bit crazy, but who cares if you can slide around while shooting bad guys? It's a real shame only 800,000 people bought this amazing action game. Wonderful. 
Do you own any of these cult games? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave us a like before you leave. I need to find Morikawa Sensei. He'll know what to do. Who's that? Morikawa Sensei. He's my sensei. A sensei? But like a teacher? I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick! Well, I... I can't speak Japanese, Juliet. I just know that one word.